What's going on guys, welcome back to another bodybuilding meal prep on a budget. This is the seventh installment and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has left a comment as to how much they enjoy these videos. The positive feedback honestly just motivates me to continue providing valuable content for you guys. So here we are with yet another high protein, healthy, vegan bodybuilding meal prep for you to try out. This is perfect for anyone who struggles to get enough protein without overshooting on their carbs. Pretty much a one to one protein to carb ratio, 35 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbs and 15 grams of fat. I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. For this meal prep, you will need two blocks of tofu, two cloves of garlic, half an onion, some curry powder to flavor the tofu with, 100 grams of spinach, two tins of baked beans, and that is everything. Prices for this meal prep, 64p for the beans, three pounds for the tofu, roughly 10p for half the onion, 50p for 100 grams of spinach, and then the cost of the garlic and the curry powder brings the total to four pounds 40, so one pound 10 per meal, $1.37, or one euro 30 for all my European friends. So the first step is to chop up the garlic. The easiest way to get the skin off the garlic is just to press it down with a knife and that'll crack the skin, allowing you to peel it off easily. Garlic is an amazing addition. It adds such great flavor to any dish. As you know, I don't like to add more ingredients than is absolutely necessary. I just stick to the bare minimum, which makes meal prep simple, but still tasty at the same time. For this meal prep, we're gonna be using two cloves of garlic. Feel free to use more if you prefer, or if you don't like garlic, you can always use ginger instead. Just chop it up nice and fine, like so. Step two is to chop up the onion. Easiest way to do this if you're struggling is just to take a knife and cut into the onion slightly. That'll give you something to grip onto and then you can just peel off the skin. Chop the onion in half. We're only gonna be using half the onion because this onion was rather ginormous. So just dice it up into small pieces. You don't have to be too fancy with it. You know, Just cut up until it's all roughly the same size. Wrap the other half in foil, save it for the next meal prep and then we can drain the tofu. Just squeeze as much water out as you can. Don't worry if there's a little bit of excess water. That'll evaporate in the pan anyway. So we have the onions, garlic, and tofu, and now it's time to get cooking in a large frying pan. So just turn the heat on, add some optional one calorie spray, or not if you want to avoid all forms of oil. Defy gravity briefly with the onions for the lols before popping them back in the pan. Give them a little shaky shaky, and a little mixy mixy. Then let them cook for three or four minutes until they turn golden brown like that. Now we can add the garlic, give it another mix and let it cook for another couple of minutes. Before adding the tofu to the pan, I like to chop it up in its container. This is by no means 100% necessary, but it's a handy little time-saving tip. Plus the tofu is super easy to cut. It's like slicing through butter, vegan butter, of course. Add all the tofu to the pan before breaking it up with a spatula. This process can take a little while. How much you chop it up just depends on the texture you prefer it to be. I think it tastes great no matter how big or small. And then you can add your spices. Here I'm using two teaspoons of medium curry powder, but if you prefer, you can use hot curry powder or, you know, any other spices really. I recommend cumin, paprika, they all work well in this dish. Mix the spices in evenly across all the tofu until it looks something like that. In fact, it looks remarkably like scrambled eggs, and I know people have been contacting me about how they can replace their egg whites in the mornings. Well, this is an ideal replacement. Second to last step is to add your spinach. Mix that around before finally taking your two tins of beans and then adding them to a saucepan. These will only take three to four minutes on medium to heat through. Just keep mixing them so they don't stick to the pan. And then, voila, everything is ready to go. Serving this up into four meals, per meal we are looking at 35 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of fat. Quite honestly, those macros are exceptional. If you were to eat these four meals over the course of a day, I'm not saying you should, but for the sake of this example, let's say you did, you'd be getting 140 grams of protein, 148 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat, all in 1,756 calories. So if anyone's questioning your ability to get enough protein on a vegan diet, especially one designed for fat loss, just show them this video. Honestly, it is much easier than people make out. And for anyone in need of help with their own personalized meal plan or physique transformation package, I would love to help you out and be there to coach you and provide you with dedicated one-on-one -on -one support to help you get in the best shape of your life. For more information, please head over to veganphysique.co.uk. I guarantee results, guys. So if you want to make a change, let me know and we can get started as soon as possible. Otherwise, that concludes this installment of Bodybuilding on a Budget. Please don't forget to click the bell to stay up to date with all my uploads. Drop this video a like and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.